Two-line fuel systems are the most common on the road today. Without the proper understanding of how these systems operate, this can lead to misdiagnosis. The main components to a two-line system in the engine compartment are obviously your pressure line and your return line. At the end of the fuel rail is the pressure regulator. The pressure regulator's job is to restrict the flow of fuel, creating a back pressure over the top of the injectors. A fuel pump is designed to make volume, and then when that volume is restricted, then we create a pressure. When experiencing possible fuel delivery issues, one thing to be sure of is to check your pressure and your volume, making sure that they are within manufacturer specs. Once you've determined that the fuel pressure is within manufacturer specs, one of the next things to do is to check the volume. We can accomplish this by using a flow meter. If during the pressure and volume test you find it below specs, one of the next things we need to do is eliminate the possibility of an electrical circuit problem. We can do this by doing a voltage drop test on both the power and the ground sides of the circuit. If after doing your voltage drop test, you still find that you have a pressure or volume issue, then we need to look at the health of the pump. Using the amp clamp of our lab scope, we determine that the fuel pump is actually operating properly as far as voltage and amp draw for the pump. If you're still experiencing pressure or volume issues, it could be developed from a pinch line or a blockage in the line due to rust contamination. Without the use of a lab scope, we could have replaced the pump and still had our flow and volume issues. 